Hello everyone and welcome to sort of a standalone tutorial that I kind of wanted to do um, on how to create your own custom sound effects for Windows and be able to actually implement them so that whenever you do certain things or you have like, you know, pop-ups or just sort of all those little, you know, dings and uh, different things that you hear when you're messing around in Windows, um, you can change all of those sounds, you know, your log on, your log off sounds, your you know, window shut off sounds, all those kinds of things, you can change them up. For instance, I've got my recycling bin up here. Um, I've got a new folder that I just randomly created and uh, deleted. And if I click the empty recycling bin, uh, I need to, first of all, turn this down just a little bit because it's kind of loud. And if I empty it, you will hear this. Your soul is mine. So that's just sort of an example of something you could do. You could replace that with any sound that you wanted to, and you can do that with a lot of different sounds in Windows. So um, to get started with this, it's really pretty simple. Um, a lot of you may already know how to do this, but you'll need to go to your control panel, and you'll have to go to personalization. Um, now, probably some of you will just get this up here, you know, you just click on peer, Appearance and Personalization. If you want to, you can actually get to the same menu that I'm going to by clicking Sound, and you'll get to this menu. Um, if you go to Appearance and Personalization and you click um, the Sound thing there, you'll get the same menu. You can also go down here in the very corner, right click on the volume thingy and click Sounds, you can get there as well. Uh, there's plenty of ways to get to this menu, but once you get here, what you need to do is first of all pick the sound scheme that you want to use by default it's going to be set on Windows default you could change it to one of the other presets if you want to um, any of the presets at all you can independently change the sound so you know if say you want it you like the afternoon preset um, you can go in but you didn't like the, you know like the log on sound or something well you can change log on sound individually and it will just create a new preset for you which will have all of all of the other sounds like it is but except for that one which is why i have windows default modified so it's the same as the windows default except a couple of the sounds are different or added or something like that so um let me just kind of show you how this works um you can't really make the window any bigger but um you'll have several different categories you have windows and then you have um, windows explorer itunes windows speech recognition all the different things that you can set to um, so you can set sounds for ones that do not have a speaker by them or what megaphone or whatever that is don't actually have a sound associated with it now you could set one all you have to do is just click on it um, and set it but they don't actually have a a sound set and if you don't say you didn't want to have a log on sound well you could set it so it didn't have one you can you can add and remove sounds for things but the uh, the asterisk sort of that little windows error sound um, if I wanted to change that I could go I could click this little drop down and it'll show you all of the stuff that's basically all of the stuff that's in the folder in which all of the sounds by default are located so these are all of the sort of like default sounds and it's also going to show you um, a lot of other sounds as well not just the windows sounds but you could actually change it to any of these sounds here um, if you wanted to or you can browse if you hit the browse button I make this a little bigger um, first of all it's going to pull it up these see these are all of the sounds that are in the windows media folder that you can use and you have all of the other um, themes that they each have their own folder. Now if I went to music, uh, sound effects, I could pick I could pick from any sound file at all that I have. Um, alarms, or if I, but they, they um, I could pick any sound file that's a .wav file. The, a lot of the alarms and stuff I have are not .wavs. Um, you could do, you know, anything that you want to um, I mean, I could literally make this a creaking wooden door. There you go. Every time that it was supposed to play that little asterisk, asterisk, Windows error sound effect, it would instead play this creaking door spooky dot wave sound effect. 
So basically that's kind of all there is to it. It's pretty simple really. Um, you just you don't want to make too long of a sound because one thing that I found is there is I think a limit to the maximum amount of time it will play a sound. Uh, usually you can get you know within 30 seconds just if it's less than 30 seconds approximately um, it'll be fine but the only problem that occurs that I found is because some of the usually the sound effects are pretty short it's like a single like ding or something because let's say you plug in a device right like a flash drive or something well sometimes it'll like initialize and then deinitialize and then initialize again just for whatever reason I mean you know you'll hear like the ding and then the you know you'll see the different messages flash flashing on the bottom of the screen saying it's connected and disconnected sometimes it's connected again just things like that right if you have really long sound files they'll be playing over each other and it can kind of get weird because it'll cut one off and then play the other one then cut that one off and play the other one and so it can kind of um, get a little um, odd and you can get a little you know some weird buggy stuff happening with that but other than that it seems to work pretty pretty perfectly I've not really had any errors at all with the whole you know Windows uh, playing custom sounds thing you just of course need to make sure you don't delete the sound um, and that the sound is a .wav file. Um, and again, less than 30 seconds, I mean, you know, maybe less than 20 seconds is probably good. You don't really want something longer than that because it's just a computer sound effect. It's not like a, like a video or something. So, for instance, I actually do have a sound in here. Um, it's not a custom sound. It's just a Windows default sound that I just wanted to add. Um, every time... I open every time I maximize or minimize a window it plays a sound. So if you had like a 10 second sound every time you did that it would kind of get obnoxious after time. So just keep that in mind whenever you're making these if you want to make your own custom ones. Again you don't even have to make your custom ones you can just pick from whatever the ones that are in the um, default folder actually I, let me do that so it'll get back to normal so you, you you can just choose from whichever ones are in here which I actually did for the maximize sound I just did ding it's just literally called ding dot wave so there you go you can use that um, uh, again some of these don't even have sounds so open program you can set that to be a sound or program error you can set that to be a sound um, select restore up restore down um, a lot of these you can set to be sounds that aren't already set to be uh, windows log on sound log off sound Dave Johnson, we're done here. that's my log off sound that's also the same sound I use for disconnecting any devices so some I, let me see if I go back to my device connect disconnect so here's what sometimes I not plug that little idiot into my mainframe don't you dare plug him in don't plug him in no 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 so that's my device connect sound but what sometimes will happen is I'll plug in a device it'll be playing that sound but then at the same time it starts to play this sound so it'll be Do this not plug that little idiot into Dave Johnson, and then done. that so and then it, it may or may not play the other one again, just because of the way it's initializing, reinitializing it. I, I don't know. But sometimes it does that. So you'll just have to keep that in mind if you have longer, drawn out sound effects. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, one thing that I did try to figure out, but I couldn't quite um, get to work, was the Windows. Lo like the Windows initializing sound. There's a difference between the Windows initializing sound and the Windows log on sound. The log on sound you can play. Um, my log on sound actually, let's see, is this. Okay, I apologize that. Uh, for some reason that one seems to be very buggy uh, and doesn't 
it, it works fine normally. It just whenever it's playing it in this menu, it doesn't want to work right. But um, that's what it plays whenever my computer start turns on. However, there is sort of like that Windows ding too, like whenever Windows is first starting up and you haven't actually logged on your computer. I don't think there's a way to change that sound. That's like inherently part of like the BIOS or the bio, bio, BIOS, BIOS, whatever. It's inherently part of Windows, so you can't really change that one. But there's uh, plenty of the other sounds that you can change. The only ones that you really can change are the ones that are here. You, um, you can change the Windows turn off. Is it like the Windows exit? Windows... I think it's like a Windows close or something like that. Um, exit Windows. You can change that one. And you can also change the log off. So you can make those both the same sound or different sounds. Um, another thing to note, just kind of saying random things here. Um, the Windows log off sound, when it is played, like let's just say that it's like two seconds. When your computer's turning off, it's going to shut down all the programs and then it's going to play the Windows log off sound and then log off. So if it's two seconds, it's going to be two seconds, then log off. But if it's like 15 seconds, the sound will play a full 15 seconds and then the computer will finish logging off. It has to wait for that sound to finish playing before it can complete the log off. Not that it's a big deal, but just if the sound ever plays and your computer's just kind of sitting there and the you know, not doing anything and not logging off, that's why. It's having to wait for the sound to finish playing before it can finish doing any log off um, stuff. So just keep that in another thing in mind in case you like need your computer to always shut down quickly. Don't have a long log off sound. Um, if you don't care, then whatever. But just keep that in mind too. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to this. This is like a much longer tutorial than I needed it to be, usually because I end up rambling on and on and on about all kinds of pointless things. But anyway, um, there's sort of how to change all your custom window sounds. So you're welcome, and I'll, uh, I'll see you all in another video. Hopefully this was enjoyable.